Welcome to YouTuber Headlines. I'm Oakley. Today we're covering Brianna K. I have a lot to talk about in today's video, so keep watching. I want to start out by reading a post on Instagram Brie made not too long ago. Brie said, it can be really scary to take any sort of break, even for a day, because all of your work can crumble. Due to the algorithm, frequency of posts matter so that your followers actually get to see what you're posting. It helps if you turn on notifications because then you see everything. So even at times when I wanted desperately to take breaks, like after having I felt I couldn't, especially since at that time I was the sole income for our family. And I've always felt like I'd be letting our community down if I didn't post. Even today, I feel so guilty for not having a video on YouTube and I'm sad not getting to chat with everyone on there. You've become such a part of my life. Not posting can feel like I'm letting you down. I wanna stop here for a second because I believe Brie just told a lie. She stated she wanted to take a break after having her last baby but she couldn't for many reasons, and one reason being she was the sole income for their family. Brie posted the birth blog in November of 2020. So she gave birth in November of 2020. And I have to point this out because this video, look at the views, over 17 million views, almost 18 million views on this video. So in my opinion, she's probably made somewhere around $200,000 or more off this video. Okay, let's just think about that for a minute. $200,000 for delivering a baby. Most moms do not receive a fat paycheck like that after having a baby. Let's go over the timeline quickly. Brie made that Instagram post where she claimed she was a sole provider of their family about five weeks ago. She had her baby in November of 2020. Now I wanna show you a video that was posted in May of 2021 where she talks about Adam quitting his job. Does Adam still have his job because he started a YouTube, wondered if he decided to switch gears. So that was another big decision that, I don't know, I, I didn't really talk about it publicly until now, but. It's pretty common for Brie to do this. She will make like a big change that is obvious for her viewers and viewers will constantly ask her and people will send her DMs and she knows there's like a buzz around this topic, but she won't talk about it because she likes to create this buzz because it helps her get engagement, comments, views, and all the things. I believe Brie is very strategic. She knows what she's doing. She just did this with her boob job. We all knew she had a boob job, right? We've known for months now, but recently on Instagram, she was like, oh, do you guys wanna know about my boob job? Do you have any questions? She was making it seem like it was something she had already told her viewers about, when in fact, she had never told her viewers about it until she popped on Instagram and was asking for questions. How weird. She likes to string her viewers along for engagement, for this buzz. She likes to create this drama and buzz around certain topics so that she can pull in views, a lot of views, when she finally talks about something, you know? When we moved to Hawaii, we decided as a family that Adam was going to put in his two weeks notice and he has been working for my business and my company ever since then. There it is, the mom content creator flex. My husband works for me now. They all like to say that, right? They think it's some type of flex, but it's cocky. It's not a flex, it's cocky. He's your husband. I would assume that behind the scenes, he's actually been helping you all along, you know? You're a partnership. You have to work together to get things done when you're running a household and a family. So Adam was probably helping her all along, even when he had his full-time job. After watching so many men quit their full-time jobs to help their wife with their content creation, in my opinion, I think a lot of these mom content creators want their husband to quit their full-time job not so that they can spend more time with their husband and work with their husband. I think they want their husband to quit so that the husband can become the nanny, the maid, the plumber, the grocery shopper, and do all the things that they just don't want to do anymore because it's all about them and their content creation. And when you change the dynamic of your marriage and your household like that, sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes it's not a good thing. It has just allowed like just so much more flexibility for us and our family and 
I'm just really grateful that I have a husband who believes in me and supports me and is like encouraging me to just follow this. Bree just said Adam was very supportive and encouraging and supported her dreams and her business and all of that. He even quit his job to help her fulfill her dreams and her business goals. But other times she drags him and says he was lazy and not supportive. So whatever narrative they're trying to spin at the time, that's what they tell their viewers. If they're going through a divorce, their husband sucks and everything sucks and he's not supportive. If he just quit his job to come home and be the house dad, whatever you want to call him, then he, oh, he's so supportive. He's so encouraging. He's the best. You know, it's just a narrative. It's just content. It's not real life. That's what I'm trying to say. Brie announced they were moving to Hawaii in January of 2021, and they actually moved to Hawaii in January of 2021. But she's claiming she was the sole provider back in November of 2020 when she just stated Adam quit his job when they were moving to Hawaii. So which one is it? We are moving and the day I'm filming this, we move in one week. So when you're seeing this, we're gonna be moving in a couple of days. So I have a lot to do around here. Her timeline isn't adding up. Either she is lying now or she was lying then. I think content creators want to portray this life that they really don't have. They wanna make things seem perfect and she is actively doing that right now with her new boyfriend she's making their relationship seem like it's the best relationship everything's perfect and she's so happy and you know maybe she is happy but content creators create content it's not their real life they're trying to sell you this lifestyle so that you will buy their products they're about to start selling products, so they are selling you this fairy tale right now. They are trying to wrap you around their fingers right now. And it is working on some people. I can read the comments and see that some people are falling for this. But content creators do this. They manipulate their viewers, let's be honest, they do. Because they want you to buy all the crap they promote. They want you to watch their videos. They want you to click all the links. They want you to do all these things so they can make money. So they have to sell you on their life. A large part of social selling, which is what content creators do, they are social selling is storytelling. They have to tell the story. And that's what Brad and Bree are doing right now. They just made a post about being a business owner and like things they wish they would have known before opening their own business. But that's what they're doing right now. They're storytelling. They're making you, the viewer, feel like you're a part of their story. They want you to root for them. They want to inspire you and make you feel like you're a part of their story. If they can connect with you in that way, they can get you to buy these products they're about to launch. Social selling is so intriguing to me. There's a lot of psychology involved in social selling and manipulation, in my opinion. And don't forget, Brie was part of a mastermind. And I think she mentioned that in her Instagram post. She was coached by a woman who's in a huge MLM, who knows how to manipulate people, who knows how to social sell and storytell and all of these things. Brie was trained by her. I believe that content creators throw out some white lies here and there to portray this fake life, this fake image online. I mean, if it's fake, you have to lie. You know, you have to stretch the truth. I don't know how you can portray this fakeness if you don't. And some can see through it and some just can't. Some just will never be able to see through this. Let's keep reading her Instagram post. Ever since my kids started school, I have fantasized about taking the summer off with them. At this point, I really need to for my mental health. No social media. I've been following Brie for a while. I've never heard her mention wanting to take the entire summer off. Have you ever heard her mention that? Because I haven't. I think this is all Brad. Brad is putting this in her head. Brad likes to spend the summer on his boat and he's not going to let anything interfere with his summer on his boat, including Bree's work. So they're popping out this product really fast. This thing will be out before summer because the money they make off this product will carry them into the fall because they want to spend all summer on this boat. And Brie is trying to relaunch her YouTube course. She's trying to do all these things so that she can take the summer off. No worrying about filming videos or posting on a daily basis. Get an actual break. Just make a summer routine for us and then go back to work when they go back to school. I already feel like I've lost out on so much time with them because of our divorce. 
We have 50-50 plan. So I just want every second I can with them on my days when they're not in school. If I didn't have to worry about posting stuff, I think I would just have so much more time to just be in the moment with my kids. I would still want pictures and videos of cool things we do as a family, holidays and vacations for our memories, but I wouldn't have the pressure to post. So maybe I'll finally do it this year. It's never too late to change. And maybe that dream of taking a summer off with my babies was planted for a reason. Why would she feel the urge to post when they're out as a family making memories and doing fun things? Well, because she wants to flex. It has nothing to do with her content because her kids are not her content. They're not her niche. Her niche is cooking, vacuuming, folding her underwear because she loves to fold her underwear in YouTube videos and on Instagram and cleaning her house. Her niche really has nothing to do with her kids, so she should never feel the urge to post when she's out. The reason she feels the urge to post when they're out as a family or when she's out with her boyfriend is because she wants to flex. She wants to flex their vacation. They're on a plane somewhere. That's the reason she feels the urge to post. She craves the attention. And now she wants to offer this free workshop again. How do you have time for this? You're about to take the entire summer off. I know how she has time. Because she recorded some videos, you're going to pay her $1,000 and she's going to send you an old outdated video that was recorded years ago. Don't fall for this BS. There is too much free information about starting a YouTube channel and how to make money on social media for free on YouTube. You don't need an outdated video course by Brie that she filmed years ago. On the screen, it says this is a free workshop. Leave your email here. So what she'll do is she'll get you into this free workshop, right? Nothing's free. Come on. You know that, right? Don't fall for this stuff. And then she'll try to sell you this YouTube course. She'll try to get you to click on this link. She'll show you her favorite shirt of the week. I mean, <laughs> she will try to sell you something while you're at this free workshop. I want to talk more about their new business, what products they're launching, and things like that in a future video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.